something about your body. Should have tea talk, a transsexual's perspective on the world around us. Today's show is, and the Oscar goes to Rajendra Narang Singh, aka Rajay. Only in my dreams, right? Well, dreams do come true. Now, for those of you who saw my last show, and it's been a while, it's been a couple months since I did my last show, uh, I mentioned during the show that I had the opportunity to audition for a principal role in a movie. At that time, I had no idea that I would even get the role, but I was speaking about the opportunity. And since that time, I got the role, and we just finished filming last week. It was a wonderful experience. And just to tell you a little bit about the movie, the title is Bella Motto, uh, and it's an all-transgender cast. Every single actor in the movie is transgender. There were four principal roles. I was given one of the major roles as um, Aunt Norma. And the thing about this movie that's groundbreaking is that we're all transgender actors, but we're playing non-transgender roles. Like, you know, when you usually see a transsexual in a movie, they're playing the role of a transsexual. In this movie, we were all just playing regular people, you know, in, in non-transgender roles. Now, the movie is really, really interesting because it's um, my brother, Ocletus, uh, is his name in the movie. He is married to a bitch. Her name is Bella. And um, she's psychotic. And I'm trying to get my brother to realize, look, your wife is crazy. You need to leave her and take your daughter, my niece Angelica, who I adore and she adores me. So I'll keep you posted on the movie. I'm not sure exactly when it will come out. It's scheduled for the fall of this year, uh, 2010. And I will keep you all posted. Uh, but I got to meet some fantastic people. I mean, I'm talking Janice Danielle, first of all, who is the writer, producer, and she actually played the role of Bella in the movie. Fabulous transgender sister, um, and uh, very progressive, and her, her whole thing is to have us transgender people working in movies and getting more opportunities because, you know, there really isn't much opportunities for us, but she's working at it. And I, I feel that, you know, she will get us very far because this project alone speaks volumes. I also um, got to work with uh, the people at Canvas Films. Uh, they produced the movie in conjunction with Janice. And a great set of people, very hardworking creative, talented individuals. They were all just fantastic. Isis King, and for those of you who recognize the name but you can't really place where she's from, she was on America's Top Model last year. She was the first transsexual to be on the show. Oh my goodness, beautiful spirit, very humble. And she just has a lot of goals and, you know, such a future ahead of her because I think she's only 20, 20, 19, 20. So um, it was just such a pleasure meeting her. I met Jazz, and for those of you who recognize the name but you can't place where you may have seen her, she was featured on Barbara Walters last year. She was, a, she's a transgender little girl, a male to female, and she's about eight or nine, seven, eight or nine cutest thing. She's cute as a button. And she loved her Aunt Norma, according to her mom. She told me she just adored me, so that was really great. And then I, my brother, the guy that played Ocletus in the movie, uh, Shay Jester Aguilar. I had to look down to make sure I had the name correct. Fabulous person. I mean, talented transgender female to male and um, he's from Arizona. It was just a pleasure working with him also. Um, you know, the mind is a powerful thing and after the movie wrapped last week, this week I just thought about the whole experience 
And, you know, it's amazing how our thoughts really do create experiences. Because I've always, in the back of my mind, wished I could have been in a movie, you know, and that I had, like, a, a major role or a principal role. And I would think of it about it from time to time. And then it happens. And I go through the experience and afterwards and I realize, oh my God, I've been thinking about this for the longest. This is something that I wanted to do in my lifetime and I finally was able to do it. So the mind is really truly a powerful thing and um, wherever this movie goes, I mean, I don't know if it's going to go straight to DVD, if it's going to go to the theaters, if it's going to um, be on TV. I will be able to say, if I live to old age, I'll be in my rocket chair saying, I remember that day, that time when I was starred in that movie, you know? It was just a really, really fantastic experience. So that's what I'm embracing, the opportunity and the experience that I had. Well, I'm working on my next project. Mm. And I'm not going to tell you all right now what it is, but I'll keep you posted on that. Just wanted to update you and check out Bella Motto. Keep your ears and eyes open for that. Until next time, love, peace, and blessings, and hugs and kisses. I like the